Hello, I'm gonna be showing how I make animations through Panoply and how I concentrate NetCDF files so we can view them as animations within Panoply. So over here I have something called Jupyter Notebook. Um, it's through Anaconda. You don't have to use it. I mean, any Python shell will work, but this is just really easy because you can look right into a folder and just run a script straight in the folder instead of having to CD to it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna open up, just gonna open up my notebook over here, and I can run any scripts I want. I'm gonna import netcdf4, and I'm also gonna import xra, and then I'm just gonna define a new data set. So dt, just whatever the data set. Um, call for xra. Open underscore mf data set. And then we're just going to specify. I'll just leave that for a sec. And then I'm just going to write that the data set to netcdf. And I'm just going to name it. So I'll name that in a sec. Alright, so in here, we're just going to give it a thing to, to look at. So we just look at the data set over here. It looks like they all start with ghost13.2012. So I'm just gonna run goes13.2012. And then just put an asterisk because that's where all the rest of the set is. .nc because they're all .nc files. And then we're gonna combine equals by underscore chords comma concat underscore dim equals time right. so we're just going to define it by chords and by time so that's just going to have everything separate and then we're going to call the, um, the data set and we're just going to name it you can really name it anything so it goes 13 underscore band 19 underscore combined dot nc and that's it. Alright, so I'm just gonna run it real quick. And in this folder. Here it is. Ghost 13 underscore band 19 underscore combined NC. Alright, so now that we have that, we can just this is saved. This is this is good. Alright, sorry for this. Alright, and then we're just gonna take Panoply out real quick. I'm just going to drag this combined NC file. And we're going to show all plottable variables, and we're just going to take the raw satellite counts of Geo2D data. We're going to go into longitude, latitude, color contour plot. I'm going to plot this. Give my computer a second to load it. Alright, so in this data set, we know that there's been some sort of error, so this doesn't reflect every single one. But it should show a decent amount. So then we're just going to go File, Export Animation, 8 FPS. It's fine. MP4 video. Um, yeah. Show Dimension Info is Frame Subtitle. And that's it. Just press OK. And then I'm just going to name it and just place it on my desktop. So. Alright, now we're going to run it. But. As you can see, it's running through it. Um, but. There seems to be an issue, and that could just be with the satellite, but it's worked before, previously. So as you can see at the top, it's running through each one frame by frame, so we can see it. And it's just creating the plot animation. My laptop's pretty slow, so it might take a little bit. But... Just give it a moment to run through all this, it might take... Just a tad of time. Alright, it's all good. So now we can just view this animation. It's pretty short because it's only 47 frames, but there seems to be an issue with the with the data set. So that's just all right. That's it. That's just how you make an animation in Panoply with combined NetCDF files. Thanks for listening.